All right, this is going to be a short video introduction to just using ALSA. Bare minimum, all you need is Mumble. And for the filtering, we're going to have to do that in hardware since we're not going to use any software filtering or any plugins. It's just going to be the mic jack and your computer speakers and Mumble. We're going to use the same setup as before a 555, this circuit on the left. We're going to key it with the circuit on the right, as in the previous video, but this time we're using ALSA. So I've got both the GNOME ALSA mixer and the ALSA mixer command that shows up. First you have to unmute the mic. So this is what it sounds like after it goes through a hardware filter, and that hardware filter is the hypermite. There's a, be a couple articles about how to use that for a good CW tone, especially from uh, a harsh square wave. This really cleans it up. This article kind of goes over that. And you can get that hypermite here. Again, that'll be in the show notes. But we've attached the hypermite already, and this is what it sounds like. It's a very, very good filter. Very, very great uh, in its way that it uh, keeps the CW from getting too mushy, and you know, I don't notice any of the harmonics. Uh, I can't hear that anyway, any or key clicks or anything like we did before with the, the 555 just coming in. So to get this set up in ALSA, you have to unmute the mic or you won't hear it. So if you watch this ALSA mixer down here, and look at the mic. You can see the two zeros, which means it's active. As soon as we mute it, it goes MM, so it's muted. So unmute it. Now you're going to have this is your side tone monitor, this mic. So as we come in, and we can turn it lower, however much you want, and it will not affect how much goes into mumble. So I can turn it all the way off, and yet mumble still gets enough. Over here in the capture, this is what sets how much goes into the mumble. So we have that clicked as the recording, and I only have a, a mic, so I don't have to worry about line input. Line input's a much better uh, way to go with this. It's a lot less noisy, and I'll show you that in a second. So if we did this, you can see it's too much. We want it to be right about there, but around minus 14 dB, plus or minus a couple. And then you'll get plenty of volume since that's just the threshold of where the automatic gain control on Mumble kicks in. So I'll take it down about there. So that's good enough. And you don't want this because this is way noisy. So turn that mic boost off. That's the first thing you do. Make sure that's not on. And then you want just enough signal coming into the mic jack where you don't have to turn this slider up that much. And you don't want to go too hard into the hyper mic or you'll make it distort. So you have to set just the right amount of volume going to the, into this. And then it'll be clean coming out and go right to the mic jack. And then you can adjust your side tone volume this way. But it's still kind of noisy they had it turned all the way up so mic jacks are noisy so we'll turn that down so use just enough side tone and you won't get that noise that's pretty good I don't hear any noise and on mumble so that's how you set the volumes so the capture sets how much goes into mumble and this mic unmuted is like your personal hardware monitor, direct monitor. And hopefully you'll have that on your laptop. And I'm using Ubuntu here, 1404. Actually Linux uh, Mint 17.1 or 2, something like that. And I think that's all for the mixers. I like the GNOME because it's a little easier to deal with. So Let's take a look at the mumble settings here. 
as you see and we have ALSA and not pulse audio or anything else and then you have to find the system default name of your card and mine is an Intel HDA and that's what I have for both output and input so let's uh, cancel that and now we'll go back in here and try the loop back so that second tone is the bounce back from the server so I know I'm getting audio from the correct settings in the audio output that's just about it so you have a pretty good clean CW signal just using your own computer microphone input or line input if you've got it in this hypermite and of course some kind of a side tone and that's the one I'm using thanks for watching